As the Eurozone crisis unfolded across the Atlantic, many people here in the United States were wondering, how can we avoid going the way of Greece? The easiest way, of course, would be for us to repeal our version of austerity, the sequester, and to request the House Republican 2015, and to, excuse me, and to reject the House Republican 2015 austerity budget. According to the Economic Policy Institute, that budget and its $5.5 trillion worth of cuts would reduce GDP by 1% in 2016 and decrease payrolls by 1.3 million jobs. And in 2017, GDP would be re reduced by almost 2.5% with payrolls decreasing by 2.9 million jobs. Avoiding this kind of devastating austerity is one way to stop America from going the way of Greece. But there's another way we can stop our economy from going down the tubes, and that's by staying out of the Trans-Pacific Partnership, or the TPP. If established, the TPP would create a massive trade zone, including the United States and 11 other nations bordering the Pacific Ocean. It would also allow foreign corporations to challenge American laws in foreign corporate-controlled courts, and therefore put the core of our democracy, our sovereignty, at risk. Joining me now for more on this is Curtis Ellis, spokesperson for Obamatrade.com and executive director of the American Jobs Alliance. Curtis, welcome back. Nice to be here, Tom. Thank you. I think a lot of people are familiar with the TPP in terms of its similarity to other trade deals like NAFTA, but most people aren't thinking in terms of uh, thinking about it in terms of the Greek crisis. Can you talk about that? How how could the TPP turn us into Greece? Well, this is uh, the TPP, the Trans-Pacific Partnership, is a European Union type setup. It sets up an international commission that will govern and generate rules and regulations for all of the nations within the Trans-Pacific Partnership. Right now, those are 12 nations, but written into the text of this agreement, other nations can join in the future. And uh, the determining factor of who joins, how they join, and under what rules they will join and participate, those rules will not be written by the U.S. Congress. They will be written by a Pacific Commission, just like the European Commission writes regulations for the entire economy of every country within the European Union. This Trans-Pacific Commission will be writing rules that will be binding on every country within the Trans-Pacific Partnership. Okay. That that is a nascent European Union type setup. That yeah. is not a trade agreement. Uh, to play devil's advocate, uh, the Eurozone and the use of the Euro and, and all this sort of thing that we're just de describing here is working out quite well for Germany. I mean, they're the, the richest country in Europe. And, <laughs> and in fact, there are, I've, I've heard people say, you know, this is actually the way that Germany won World War II. They now basically control Europe. Um, we are the strongest of the countries in the TPP. Might this not be a good thing for us? Well, or would within, it be a disaster within, when China gets into it? Well, there you go, Tom. Within days, within weeks, within months, it's only a matter of time before China joins. They're too smart. They know how to play this game. They're too smart to say they want to join right now. They'll let us bake the cake, and then they're going to eat it. Uh, already, China has made overtures about participating in this. The White House has said so. So yes, then China will be the 800-pound gorilla, and we will be dancing to their tune. Just when everybody wants to get out of the European Union, the Greeks, uh, Nigel Lafarge, uh, the, the, the National Front in France, the Spanish, everybody wants their national sovereignty back. At that very point, Obama and the White House and the generals who are fighting the last war are ready to submerge our sovereignty in one of these European Union type setups. And the virtually all the Republicans in both the House and the Senate. John Boehner, McConnell, and yes, a majority of, uh, of the Republicans. Yeah. They're all signed on to this corporatist trade agreement, which is not trade at all. It's, it's basically corporate fascism. Most conservatives I know blame the Greek crisis on lazy Greeks and spending, but not you. Have you talked with uh, your, your fellow conservatives about this, and what do they say? Well, look. There's, a, there's two meanings to every word. There's a denotative meaning and a connotative meaning. There's a lot of problems with the Greek economy, macro, micro, whatever type of uh, acro you want. But there's also the bigger picture. And the bigger picture, the connotative meaning of the Greek crisis is people are hungry for national sovereignty. This Trans-Pacific Partnership and the European Union are an edsel 
It, it, it's last year's model. The European Union, Union was created to submerge nationalism after the hangover from World War II. Well, that was 50, that was, you know, many, many years ago. Uh, nationalism in itself is not a bad thing. Right now, all of our industry, all of our technology is going towards localism. We don't have three networks anymore. We have an unlimited number of internet channels and YouTube videos that people can watch. We don't have just three car makers. We have, basically, you can make your own car. You can make your own t-shirt. You can, everything is getting localized and broken down, but still the politicians are trying to push us and shove us into this one-size-fits-all straitjacket, whether it's the European Union or this global governance scheme of the Trans-Pacific Partnership. It's last year's model. Yeah. Yeah. In the in the 20 seconds we have left, what's next in the fight against the TPP, Curtis? Well, we have some good generals leading the fight. We have Senator Jeff Sessions from Alabama. Within uh, By the end of this month, we will see the agreement. That's what's expected. And then we'll have 60 to 90 days to look at it. The fast track only passed by one vote in the House. Uh, and that was when people didn't know what was in this turkey. We're going to yeah. get to examine the turkey fully. So, so when we see it, it'll probably, it may blow up. We'll see. Uh, the, the battle <laughs> continues. Curtis Ellis, thank you. The website is Obamatrade.com. Thank you, Curtis.